G'day guys. Today I've got a brand new system I've invented for you. Now this system has shown remarkable promise during the simulation phase. This is one of the only ones that has consistently turned a profit and didn't require you to actually risk all of your bankroll. Now during the testing phase, I actually used this strategy to take part in an online roulette tournament. And as you can see, it ended up winning me first place. So when it works, it definitely works really well. While I got a couple losses originally at the start, no single loss was actually able to wipe out my entire bankroll. And then when I did start getting wins, I was actually able to compound those winnings and ended up winning the whole tournament. Now, unlike most strategies that use a progressive betting system, this one's a little bit different. This one actually allows you to consistently put a little bit of the wins back into your bankroll every time that it happens. And then when a big win does happen, it actually allows you to increase your bet sizes so that you can win more without actually having to risk any more chips. But enough rambling, I'm sure you guys are eager to find out how this system actually works so you can put it to use yourself. In order to make this explanation a little bit easier, I've actually created a flowchart for you guys so that way you can see what bets you're supposed to be making and keep track during play. Now this flowchart doesn't show all of the details of the system, but it's enough for you to actually get an understanding of what's going on and how to play. To use this flowchart, what you do is you begin at the very top and then work down each step depending on the outcomes. Now this is probably a bit hard to understand in isolation, so I'll show you guys the system and I'll explain each step as I go through them. All right guys, time to show you how this actually works. So I'm on 7-bit and you can see down here in the bottom left, I've put in $150. So I've got a bankroll of 150. So for me, I'm going to be making my one unit bets a $10 bet. So the way that we always start this system, and typically what I like to do is I'll always wait two spins. Now, if you're in an in-person casino or if you're here, you can have a look and you can see you know, what the last results were and you can work off that. But for me, it's generally good practice to sit down and watch and sort of get a feel for the wheel. So in this case, because I'm not in person and because I'm on 7-bit, they do require a bet. I just go with a small, you know, like a one unit. I could go even smaller, but typically you'll win half the time, you'll lose half the time. But essentially what we're doing is we're just waiting and we're just watching the wheel. So we're looking and we're seeing what thirds hit. So we can see that that is the middle dozen that has just hit. So. Typically, we could work off this, and if we had been playing before, we'd go from here, but because it's our first spin, we're gonna continue, and I'm just gonna watch the next one as well, and we'll see how we do. So we're watching for that dozen. We're watching for that dozen, see where it lands, bam. So we've seen the second and the third dozen hit. Basically, whenever we place our bet, we're gonna be looking at those last two spins. So we've seen the 17 and the 19. There are two scenarios that can arise. Either the two hits can fall in two different dozens, which is what happened here, or the two hits can fall in the same dozen. If that were the case, you'd be looking to place your bet on that same dozen that is hit. But because we've had that other case where this second and third dozen have hit, we're going to place our 10 unit, so our one, oh sorry, our $10, our one unit bet on the first dozen. And we're going to go from there. Now, if this wins, we go to our next step. It didn't win. That's okay. So we've just lost $10. We now go back to that first stage in the flow chart, which is wait a spin. So I put a one unit bet on red or black, and we just wait and watch what third hits. So we see that's 27. 30 was the last number that hit as well. So we're actually going to follow this third. This is the other scenario. We're going to place a 10 unit on that third. And unfortunately, we don't get it. So we go back to the first. We go put a one unit bet down and we just observe. We just observe. Now, it can take a while to actually get into one of these streaks, but you'll see after we complete this first step, that's when the money making kicks in. So we got the six, we got the 10. And we're going to go back and we're going to put a one unit bet back on the third. You can see we're not increasing our bet here. Normally, if we were losing, you know, Martin Gale would be increasing, but we're just flat betting for the moment. We're just maintaining that same bet. So we've lost again. So we're going to just put another one unit bet down and just watch. Now, this is what happened to me in the tournament is I was just watching my balance go down and down and down and down. But right at the end, because I'm not increasing my bet size, we actually managed to win. So we have that same dozen hit twice. Twice. We're gonna bet again and come on cross our fingers boom there we go So now we can move into the second stage. So we've put a one unit bet down We now win three units What we're gonna do and what I like to do personally is I look at what number has hit so this is a 21 This is a red it's high and it's odd 
So that's how I'm going to place my bets. I'm going to place one unit on red, one on odd, and one on high. And now what we're going to do is depending on how many of these bets hit, that's going to depend on what our next step is. So here we go. So we got a 25. That's red, that's odd, and that's high. We win all three. So you can see now off a $10 bet, we've just managed to win, what was it? It was $60, yes, $60 down there. So if that's the case, we can either choose to walk away with our six unit bet, which is, you know, one option, or this is where the key of the strategy comes in. Now we can afford to do two more spins with an increased bankroll and still be walking away with some profit. So that's how I like to play this system. So what we do is we go back and we go back to the first step. So we've just made a profit. We go back and now we watch the next one. So we have that middle dozen hit. So we had the 25 and now the middle dozen. And this is the key. Normally we would be placing a one unit bet. But now we can afford to place a two unit bet. And we can afford to do this for two spins before we even take any losses. So we're gonna go from here. And if this hits, boom, look at that. Now, what we can do is we can have a look. This was a 12, so this was a low, a red, and an even. But now we can afford to put two unit bets on all three. So if all three of those were to win, we would, we, we would win now a profit of $60 and we could afford to then increase our bet again without, without having to risk any more. You can, still, you can see we're still sitting on the original bankroll. So we're going to go from here and we're going to see, you know, what wins. So that's a 33. That's none. And unfortunately, we cop a whack. And then that does happen. There are a few numbers that will give you the whack. But you can see, had that, had that won, we would have started to walk away with a lot more money. That's okay, we're gonna go back. And hopefully, hopefully, if I keep playing a little bit longer, you guys can see. So we get a 20. We've had a 33 and a 20, so we're gonna put our one unit. This is the case. We're gonna go back to our one unit bets now. We could, we could go for another two, and I probably should have gone for another two now that we've seen it win, but hindsight's 2020. We can we can never, I'm, I'm playing the safe game here. So we've got the six. So we're gonna go low, even, black. We're gonna go from here. So depending on how many hits, so we got an 18. Now that's even and one to 18, but not black. So that's two that have hit. So in the case that two have hit, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna repeat the bet and swap the one that didn't hit. So we're gonna repeat and now we're actually pocketing a one unit profit and managing to repeat. So we could, you know, win two again and pocket another 10 and go again. So here we go, that's a one. That's not even, but that's red, that's another two. So we pocket another 10 and we swap the one that didn't hit. So that was even, That was we're gonna go odd now and we just keep doing this and we just keep pocketing one unit, one unit, one unit, 26. That is unfortunately a full whack, but you can see because we pocketed 20 units, but it only took us one unit to get that original bet that got us to the point that we were reaping this one unit profit. And this is why this strategy works so well. There's one more, there's one more case that I wanna show you guys. So I'm gonna keep playing a little bit longer. I am slightly up, so technically we're in the, we're in the black here. So we win that one. We got a 26 and a 17. Now that is a third and a middle dozen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our one unit back on that first dozen and go again. So cross our fingers, we didn't get it. So we wait, always wait one spin. Never, never try and you know bypass this step and then just refer to the last two. Always wait one spin because otherwise you would have bet a separate one and then you know you, it wouldn't have worked. This, this waiting is what allows those cycles to reset and give you those wins. That way, if it's stuck on one third, you're gonna capture it. Whereas if it's jumping all over the spot, you're gonna get the spot that it hasn't hit yet. So we won that one. That's a 35, that's a high, that's an odd, that's a black. So we're gonna put three one unit bets and go again. Now this, hopefully I get the one case I'm talking about here. So this is a 25, we win two, so we can actually replace our bet. So I'll do it once more. If I don't get the case, then I'll just explain. But essentially, if you win one of these bets, okay, this is this is another case that I didn't think about. Zeros, we just pretend they don't exist. 
This is where the casino actually makes, this is where they maintain their house at. Now, unfortunately, there is no strategy that can actually beat the house. If anyone tells you they have a strategy that can finally beat the house, then they're lying to you and they're just trying to scam your money out of you. It doesn't exist and the casinos are sure of it. So if while we're playing, we do come across a zero, we hope that it's in one of those spins that we're waiting out. And if it happens, then we just wait an extra spin. If it happens on one of our bet spins, we just go back to losing and we just act, we just act like it was a loss. And unfortunately, that, that is something that can happen. And this is why you want to make sure you're playing European roulette. I know, unfortunately, it's not an option for all people. But playing American roulette doubles your chances of a loss simply because there's twice as many zeros. So the final scenario that I did want to mention, and I'll play it out for you guys so that you guys can see. Now, this isn't how I'd recommend it. You definitely want to be waiting until you hit one of those thirds before you go to this step, because now you can see I'm betting $30, you know, straight up. And it's, it's just a risk. I'm not, I'm having to, you know, front that bigger initial bankroll in order to get this going. So here we are, we got, what was it? Was that one? Yes, so this is one win. This is the scenario where you can see we've just only won one case. So now we've put 30 units down and we've only won 20 back. This is where we go back into the system. So what we do is we wait again. So we place our one unit bet and we simply just wait. And fingers crossed. Okay, so there we go. There's those, those first two dozens that have hit. Essentially what we're going to do now is instead of placing a one unit bet, we can use that 20 unit win from the last game and play again here. So hopefully if we win this, cross our fingers, oh unfortunately we didn't. But if we had have won that, we could have then started to place 20 unit bets on those split bets. And then if a single one of those had won again, we could then place 40 on our next hand. And essentially we can continue this process even though that we're incurring a loss we're actually more likely to make a profit back and we still have only risked that initial one unit bet to get to that point but that's essentially it guys unfortunately i didn't manage to make a profit and that's usually because i'm recording generally every time i try and record these things nothing seems to go right but i guess that's murphy's law but i'm not here to lie to you guys i'm here to show you the truth i'm here to give you all the information that i can give you so that you can make the most informed decision possible if you did enjoy this please make sure you like and subscribe it really helps me out and it really helps push this knowledge to more people so that they can use it for their own benefit i'll leave a link to both the flowchart and 7bit casino in the description so if you guys are interested in either of those you can find them there but other than that i hope you guys have a great day if you use this system and it works for you, make sure you leave a comment below. Cheers, guys.